So we're reviewing for our test tomorrow over chapter six. Um, it's going to be 24 questions. Yes, you do have a bonus, so that's always nice um, and should be helpful to you. Please answer these first five questions. Uh, this is the first section on your test. Your first eight questions on your test uh, cover integers, all right, putting them in order, least to greatest, and uh, simplifying the expressions by following the operations, subtraction, addition, multiplication, division. All right, go ahead and solve these. All right, everybody together, what is 24 minus 32? It is negative 8. Why is my answer negative? 32 is my larger absolute value, and it's negative, all right? 15 minus negative 1, what happens to my double negative? Changes to a positive, and what's my answer? 16. Negative 10 minus 20? Negative 30. 5 times negative 5? Negative 25. 7, negative 72 divided by negative 6? Why positive 12? Because there's an even number of negatives. There's two negatives in my expression. All right, like I said, first eight questions right here. So literally a third of your test is right here. One third, okay? Now, in the next section deals with um, some more complicated ones, but still same rules. I want you to do these three. So number six, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to rearrange them, right? Group your negatives and your positives together. 18 plus 12 is 30. Minus 38 is negative 8. We got that right. Negative 8. Negative 8. Number seven, multiply straight across. 3 times 2 is 6 times 3 is 18 times 2 is 36. Uh, positive or negative? Negative. Wait, but there's four numbers. I see four numbers here. But there's only three negatives, guys. So since there's three negatives, it's a negative 36. Number eight, I multiply and divide straight across. Five times two is 10, times two is 20, divided by four is five, divided by negative two, negative two and a half. It can be a decimal, it's no big deal. All right, on your test tomorrow, I think it's a whole number. The important thing is that you get the sign right. Why is my answer negative? Because there's three negatives again, okay? Odd number of negatives, negative answer. All right, 9 and 10, 9 through 13, actually. Number 9, I want you to find the mean. Numbers 10, 11, 12, and 13, I want you to identify the property that is illustrated by the expression. What, what property, what number property is illustrated? Okay, so when I add them all together... I end up with negative 24 plus 78 equals what? 54 divided by what? Nine. Wait. Wait. Six. Six, which equals nine. nine. Who got nine? Raise them high and proud. All right. Yay. Questions, guys. Questions. Do you see where you went wrong? Where you're still messing up or not getting it right? Number 10, what number property is that? Which property? Which one? Yes. No, nope, not commutative. I didn't change the order, but I did change the grouping. Which number property is that? Associative. 4 plus 11 is still 15. 9 plus 6 is 15. Doesn't matter how I change the grouping. Number 11 is what property? Identity, very good. Number 12 is what property? Nope. Inverse. 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 Opposites cancel. Number 13? Inverse again. All right, so number properties, guys. Um, you're going to see a couple fill in the blank, and then you're going to see a couple problems like this. All right, now, be very careful, especially in number 14, that they are truly opposites. What makes them opposite? They are opposite signs. There's one in there that's kind of 
more or less a trick to make sure that you're only canceling, uh, don't point it out, that you're only canceling the opposites. It still makes it easier to solve. Go ahead and do numbers 14 and 15. So start naming me some opposites. Seven, seven negative seven, nine, 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 negative nine, five, five, five negative five. Nineteens? No. no. 19s are not opposite. They're both negative. Negative 38 plus 10 is negative 28. Who got it right? Good, good. Now, at number 15, I do have a lot of opposites. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite them. Uh, 5, 6, what number would I want to multiply next to 5, 6? 6 fifths. What number would I want to multiply next to my 5? 1 fifth. What number next to my 4 thirds? Three fourths, and then my twelve, and then guess what? Cancels, cancels, cancels into one. They all cross reduce to one. One times twelve is twelve. Okay, so I just want you to kind of see the thought process there. All right, I don't mind if you cross them out in the original, but that's why. That's why they're opposites. Okay, um, I want you to write an equivalent expression and then solve. All right, so now I've got 3 times 5 plus 3 times what? Negative. negative 3. The negative 3 goes there, not on the outside, because the outside 3 is positive. What's my answer? 6. 6. 3 times 2 is 6. All right, now we've got our coordinate plane. What axis goes straight across? X. X. What axis goes up and down? Y. Y. All right, so if I give you point W is at negative 3, negative 4, which way do I go on X? Left. left. And which way do I go on Y? Down. Down. Left 3, down 4, plot my W. So now I've got points X, Y, and Z. Point X is at negative 6, 0. So where do I go? Where do I go? L left 6, do I go up or down any? No. 0, point X. Point Y is at 4, 5, so which way do I go on X? Right. To the right, 4, and up 5, point Y. And point Z is at negative 2, so do I go left or right? No. Left 2 and up or down 4, oh. up 4, point Z. What is the location of point W? What is the location of point W? Quadrant 3. Roman numerals, guys. Some people are still writing numbers. Point X, what is its location? X-axis. Point Y, what is its location? Quadrant 1. Point Z? Quadrant 2. All right, now on your papers, last thing we're going to do, I want you to write the ordered pair that coordinates with points A, B, C, and D now on the uh, graph. Write the ordered pair that coordinates with those points. All right, point A is at what? 3, 3. three, three. Point B? Negative 1, 0. Point C? Five, negative five. And point D? Negative seven, negative five. All right, guys, if you get that, that's everything you need to know for your test tomorrow.